I once read a story about these nuns that were in France that really depicted what I think of when it comes to obedience to the church. You see, during the Enlightened period, during the mid to late 1800s, all the way through 1950 or so, there was a huge movement in most of, of Europe of this Enlightenment mentality. And unfortunately, this Enlightenment became anti-church. Well, there was this group of nuns in a convent that they were actually cloistered, meaning they very rarely got to see anyone outside of the monastery. And the government finally said, okay, enough of you guys, you have to leave. You have to leave Paris now, and we don't care what you do, but just go. So they ended up packing everything up, went off and lived in the woods. And there, all they did was just pray, be as a community, eat, just live together. But then all of a sudden, people started flocking to them. They knew there's something out there, and I want it. So they would go out there and pray with them, live with them. And again, the government stepped in and said, no, we cannot have this. Bring them in. So they put them to trial. What, what do they do? They send them right to the gallows. Send them right to be hung. And the amazing thing about this story is that they, they line up youngest to oldest, and the oldest was the mother superior. The youngest steps up, turns around, and goes back to mother superior, genuflects in front of her and says, permission to die, mother superior. And the mother said, Go and die in honor and in the grace of Jesus Christ. That's real obedience, gentlemen. That's what it takes to obey the magisterium. And the beautiful thing about it is that we can be 100% assured that everything that the church teaches is true. And as I said, truth is worth dying for.